Okay, so I know what you're thinking. Kristen, you've looked healthier. <laughs> and the truth is, yes. We are honestly all sick right now. I didn't even know if I was gonna get this video out this week. It's probably just gonna be a little, a little shorty over here, not very long because Mama ain't got the energy or the time to edit right now. But I thought that I would give you guys just a little mini thrift haul this week so that I can get back to taking care of the kiddos and Josh and myself. We have all had some kind of like stomach bug. It's been going around in a lot of different circles that we run in. It literally started with Ivy the first day, Ruby the second day, then me and Josh and Rosie's the only person who hasn't gotten it yet, but we're just like basically counting down the days. But I wanted to show you guys a few of the things that I found the week, I know that this is like so far beyond, but it was the week between Christmas and New Year's because I knew that I was going on my break for January. And so I had gotten some Christmas money from my grandparents. And so y'all, I wanted to spend it. We went to Springfield, Missouri, which is where Josh's family lives. And we went to one of my favorite little thrift stores. It's called CA Thrift in Nixa. And I was able to find a couple things. We went there and I feel bad, but I kind of forgot, I forgot the name of the other place, but it's right at the same intersection. I mean, who knew that Nixa had all of these like cute little secondhand shops and antique stores and like little vendors booths and whatnot but my mother-in-law and I got to go down there and we found some really cute stuff so I'll show you some footage really quick and then we'll get on with this thrift haul and then I'm gonna get out of here <laughs> for those of you who don't know me my name is Kristen Hoffman I'm a mother of three who loves thrifting homemaking and intentional living if you guys are not following me on Instagram I'm officially like back honestly between last week trying to get that dang kitchen redone and then this week with my sick family I haven't been like the most engaged on social media but there's some funny memes over there so let's go ahead and get started we're starting off with this super cute little chair but it was a little pricey I think it was like 20 22 dollars or something and there was also this really cool primitive peg rack that I thought was so neat but it did have a missing piece and it was 32 dollars so I decided to leave it behind they have these cool candle holders as well and then there was this like little plate holder down here that was just a dollar a beautiful selection of these blue transferware plates. I had a really hard time paring down which ones I wanted because there were so many good ones. Pink and blue isn't really my thing, but I know that these would look awesome in somebody's kitchen. I actually did wind up picking up this little blanket. I didn't want to go get it in Ivy's room when I was filming this video. Um, I left that and this picture of Jesus that you'll see here soon in there. Anybody who has kids know that it is just best to not disturb them. I thought that this sailboat was super cool and I had talked to my mother-in-law about like if we had a boy or something, I think that this would be really cool in a boy's room, but I didn't pick it up just because we have all girls. They also had some really cool Christmas decorations and everything was half off. I did wind up getting some of these, but you guys are gonna have to wait until the Christmas haul in order to see what I got. And they also had these beautiful paintings. I could not believe that these were only $7 a piece. I thought that this was really cool too, although I do not collect this style of cup. You guys are probably kicking me, but I did not get these. I think that these were $7 a piece. Oh, just $5, never mind. Um, I probably should have picked them up just because I do have a Swedish heritage, but you guys, I was already up beyond my Christmas money this year. And so I had, I had to draw the line somewhere. I thought that these photos were really cool. I wish I could have shown you guys all of them, but I just did not have the time. We had to get back to the kiddos and we just had to get out of there. All right, well, I hope I was able to 
show you guys some cute stuff while we were there. Oh my gosh, there were so many things that I just had to put back, but I wanted it all. Let me get started with some of these really cool prints that I was able to find. I actually am missing one, which maybe I'll just show you that next week. It's in Ivy's room and she's sleeping right now. Actually, everybody's sleeping right now, so that's why I'm being a little bit quiet. I found these two really beautiful prints. You can see it here. This is, let me just read you the description, Mount Vernon West Front. So the really cool thing about these prints is not only that they were painted in 1792, but Mount Vernon is actually the name of the main street that runs through Nixon, Missouri. And so I thought that that made these special, just kind of memories of, even though this is, I'm pretty sure of a different area of the country, but just reminded me of the season where they're living in the Springfield area. And this is the street that we drive on to go back and forth between his parents and his sister's house. And so I really liked that. The second one is by the same artist. Let's see, who is this? Oh, Original Oil by Unknown Artist. But this one is also 1792. And this is Mount Vernon East Front. So this is the same area, but a different side, I guess. Anyway, I just thought that these were really beautiful. These were $7 a piece, but they were on sale for half off. So I got these for $3.50, you guys. I didn't even know that they were half off until I checked out and I was over the moon. And while I was there, I found this cute little brass pot, which I thought was adorable. This was only $2 and you guys, you know, I can't turn down the brass right now. So I'm all about it. And you know, what more can I say? It's a pot. Okay. So while we are on the brass theme, I was so excited to find these. My mother-in-law was talking to me about them and turns out they're like oil lamps. So like a genie lamp. Uh oh, a child was awake upstairs. But you've been throwing up, sweetie. Oh, I know. Come here. I'm sorry, thank you. Can you be quiet until I'm done filming? This has been our whole week. Anyway, but I did find these. These were priced at $5 a piece, which I really did not think was bad. So I decided to pick up not just one, but two of them. So I. I probably should figure out how to get like a wick going down there. I would love to be able to use these as they're meant to be used, but you know, who knows if I'm gonna be able to figure that out. Okay, so while I was there, I was able to find all of this beautiful blue transferware. So let me show you these pieces. I think I left all the tags on. I found this little guy for $2 here. This is the smallest one. Some Japanese letters on the back. Second is, okay, this one is Coaching Days, Alfred Meekin, Staffordshire, England. Um, I thought that this one was really pretty. It's interesting that it doesn't have the border around it. It's just like a, a flat picture. This one was $3. Next, I actually already have one that looks just like this. This one was $4. So it's a little bit pricier, but it is the Johnson Brothers Ironstone. Um, and it's also called Coaching Scenes. And this one says Belvoir Castle in 1792, which I thought was kind of cool. The shape of this one is really interesting. And let's see the price. This one was, oh, this one was $3, which is interesting because this is a larger one. On the back, it says Johnson Brothers, England, Old Britain Castles. And this last one was also $3. This one is Huddington Court, Worcestershire. <laughs> Can anybody say that word? It looks like this is some kind of reproduction because it does say that it's microwave and dishwasher safe on the back, but I still thought it was really pretty. And another little score that I found was just this little plate holder is that what you call this but i just got this for a dollar and i thought it was cute just the wood with the little brass what are these called brackets <laughs> the brass the brass details and for one dollar i found this like satin type ribbon uh the girls and i have been watching a lot of Anne with an e and in that show they usually have their hair back and then it's usually in some big bow and so because we didn't have a lot of ribbons like that. I was excited to find this and we've been putting this in our hair like every day. Okay. And lastly, I know I've been talking to you guys about just kind of replacing everyday items in your house with like antiques. And that's honestly like in creating a home like ours, everything is done just little by little. And so I was so excited to find both of these pieces at the thrift store. They were both $3 and first was this cheese grater. Let me see if you can read it. It says super. I do need to get this cleaned up, but I just thought it was really neat since right now this is the one that we're using. Not that this one is bad, but I just like being able to have this one as an option. And if not, you know, we'll just 
have it out for display. And then second is this little citrus squeezer. Currently we've got this ugly thing, which I'm pretty sure is what, you know, half of your citrus squeezers look like. <laughs> but I don't know, like the, the citrus is like literally compromising the enamel or whatever that's on the outside of it. This thing is very sketchy. So I was really excited to get this one. And this one was $3 as well. And isn't that just so much prettier? Okay, y'all. Well, like I said, I was going to keep this one quick today. I just love being able to do a thrift haul in the first place. Thank you guys so much for being here with me. And for those of you who are like, why are you doing this? If you're sick, it's because we desperately need <laughs> It's because we desperately need the income that YouTube gives us and you guys' support means the world to us. So thank you so much for being here and until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.